Okay, let's get started. What we're going to be doing today is, let me get this set up here. What we want to do now is to do the, to find the volume of a cylinder. All right, so let's, uh, let's see if we can draw a cylinder here. Uh, uh, let's draw one right about here, okay. This is the top of the cylinder. And let's make this right here the bottom of the cylinder. Now, let's see, can I make some dotted lines? Yeah, here we go. And let's make this right here dotted. There. Then, let's draw the cylinder sides like this. It's not all that accurate, but let's, uh, let's work it that way. Okay, first thing I want to explain is, like I did before, is the, is that we have a, this right here, let's make this as our X and Y axis. So this is our Y and X axis, and I think we can agree, too, that this is two-dimensional. Now, if I add a third dimension, it'll be something like this. All right, and this will be the Z, the Z axis. Okay, so if I have a, let's say if I put a, uh, a cylinder in, uh, if I put a circle in here, and let's make this right here the, the center of the circle, right here. So I have this right here, and let's make this right here a uh, dotted line. So I'm going to make it the center of this circle look something like something like this. Okay. Actually, I should go all the way out there. Okay. So this right here, this distance from here to here, we will call that our radius. All right. And so we know that in order to find the area of this circle being in a two dimension is nothing but of our f formula of uh, pi r squared. Is going, that's what's going to equal to the area. And if this right here is one unit, then this right here is obviously going to be area of that circle is going to be pi. All right. Now, let me uh, let's erase this. I'm going to come up with a better circle here, and or a better cylinder. And in this cylinder here, let's uh, let's again make it. Uh, let's see if we can make that one big enough to make a radius of uh, of two. Let's see if I can do that. All right, we'll have to make a fairly big. Well, that's going to be actually a radius of uh, of one. All right, we'll just go ahead and stay with that, and let's put one down here. Okay. And we'll make the. Uh, sides here and as you can see this is not totally drawn to accurate and let me uh, make this solid since uh, this right here part is going to be solid because that's the top and the bottom is going to be solid that there okay now in order to find the volume of this what will we have to do? First thing is that we need to find out what the the radius of this one is, and I think we can agree that if we go all the way over to here, that is one unit. All right, one unit to here, one unit to here, okay? So that's one unit, so R, oops, let's go back to that. R is one, R is one, and then, uh, then the same thing would be down here, it would be this right would be one. Now this one here, the the height is going to be one, two, three, four, 
5. So 5 is our height. Now we know that the area of this base is as we uh, found over here is going to be the area of the base. So the area of the base is equal to pi. And therefore if we if we look at this right here and start counting, let me put some bunch of so if I take a bunch of these little circles and, and, and so each one of these right here is going to be a a unit it's like stacking let's say we're stacking uh, some quarters up on top of each other okay let's consider that we're doing that so we stack these four these five quarters I got one two three four got one more to go so I'm stacking five quarters on top of each other. All right, each quarter, each quarter has the area of pi. All right, so if we have five of them, then then the volume of this entire stack or quarters is going to be what? So the volume is going to. Let's go back here to a solid. So the volume is going to be equal to the area of the base which is the uh, area of the base okay the base times the height now we know the base the volume of the of the base is going to be pi r squared all right and how many do how many of those do we have we have two of those oh, I'm excuse sorry we have so we have the base, the base. I'm sorry, the uh, the area of the base right here, and we multiply it times on the height, because we've already established that we have one, two, three, four, five quarters. They're all stacked up together, so that we multiply that times five, and as we know, we figured out right here that the radius was one. Therefore, this volume is going to equal to five pi cubic units all right or in the case that we had discussed before there would be the stack up of five quarters and that would be the volume okay thank you